Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today I'm going to show you how to create the urban moody teal look. This look is also viral on Instagram right now and I'm going to show you how easily you can achieve this by just using your cell phone and of course Lightroom application. Before we get started, my name is Asad and this is a channel all about cinematography, photography and we create Lightroom presets every week. So if this is something that interests you, don't forget to subscribe because we create these videos every week and don't forget to check other videos out on this channel as well. So without further ado, let me show you some examples of how and what we're going to do today and then we'll go into Lightroom and start creating the preset. So guys, I'm going to show you some pictures uh, before and after, uh, how it's going to look like. This is a before image and this is how it's going to look like. You see that tint, uh, teal kind of tint in the shadows. And I'm going to do a similar thing on a few other pictures. This is a before image and this is how it's going to look afterwards giving a few more examples and then we'll fix one of the images and start editing. Let me show you one more. One of my favorite cars by the way, GTR. Okay, let's go into Lightroom and select one of the pictures, clear all the settings and start creating the preset for today. The first thing you need to do is to go into the light tab and start playing with the settings here. We'll do some basic adjustments. I'm decreasing the exposure a little bit. Increase the contrast and bring the highlights up. And again guys, I mentioned in my previous videos as well. I mean, I just give you guys some ideas on how to achieve the certain look, but you know, it depends on what time of day, the day you're shooting the picture and what are your settings and all those things. So, you know, feel free to come back to this tab after all the settings are done and adjust accordingly. Okay, so bring the blacks down. Thing looks pretty good around here. Go to the curves. If you've seen my videos, you may have noticed that I like to create that faded look. So this is how we create that. I'm gonna create a few points on the curve and then we'll give it a little bit of fade. Also adding a little bit of contrast using the curves, which will come handy later. And I think it's looking good. Let's create another point. Okay, I am happy with this look now. Okay, let's adjust the contrast a little bit more and fade as well. And I'll move to the color tab next. Adjust uh, the temperature a little bit. Play around with the tint as well, increase the vibrance, we'll reduce the saturation a bit. And then we'll go to the color mix and start playing with the individual colors. Start with the red color. down as well. Go to the orange tab. Adjust a few things here as well. Play with the luminance as well. Now guys, do check some other videos out on my channel. This is the seventh preset that we have created or are creating right now. Um, but like all the other presets are also available on my uh, other videos, completely free of charge. Go ahead and have a look at that as well. And next we're gonna go to green tab. Bring the saturation down a bit.
bring the luminance down too. Play with the hues as well. I think the hue looks good here. Next thing we're gonna play with is the saturation and we also adjust the luminance. I'm gonna bring the saturation down to minus 60 and I'm gonna bring the luminance slightly down as well, or minus 60-ish as well. I think it looks fine. Next, select the blue color and we'll start with the hue bring the hue down you can see that there is a change in the color now and we are getting that teal white so let's see where it looks good and we'll bring the saturation down as well let's adjust the hue a little bit let's go here and then we'll bring the luminance to almost minus 50 ish okay get done and next we're gonna go to the effects tab in the effects tab I am gonna increase a little bit of clarity it's again personal choice i mean i like to add a little bit of clarity to all of my pictures and then we'll dehaze a little bit as well i think it looks good i'm gonna copy all these settings and then we're gonna start applying them to different pictures and see how they turn out this is before and this is after and this one. Let's pick this one and we'll apply this to the same image. We see that we're getting that look that we were after before and after. Let's select another picture and we'll do the same thing here as well. Looks pretty good. Still loading though. Uh, my phone is running slow sorry about that okay so we'll apply the same look on this next picture as well i think it looks perfect here as well so the next thing that we can do is we're going to go ahead and create the preset we'll select the picture that we had applied the original settings to and then we'll go to create preset option and let's name it urban teal look and hit done and there you have it so we have created this preset and you can apply or apply it on different pictures now what i'm going to do for you as always i'm going to go ahead and put this file in the description you can download this file, it's free of charge, it's gonna be in BNG format and you can basically copy the setting on to your own Lightroom and start applying to different pictures without going through the whole process. I just wanted to show you the process so that you guys have awareness how to create certain looks. Uh, also, if you don't know how to use a DNG file, I'll link another video in the description which will guide you how to install the DNG file on your Lightroom. So if you've learned anything of value from today's video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video and give me your feedback in the comments down below. I am going to see you guys next week with another preset. Till then, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to see you guys next week. Goodbye.